You're watching Jersey Matters. Dawn Stan's Lamenti. Welcome to Wharton State Forest, home to some of the purest water on earth, as well as some of the richest history in America. Step back in time to the land loved by the Lenape people. This is the largest forest in New Jersey, full of wildlife, waterways, and this historic village. You'll really find the natural resources that brought people here to create the industry are what bring people here now to explore the natural resources today. And I think it's such a wonderful opportunity when you explore looking at the past, comparing what we see today to what had been here before. It's a wonderful opportunity to bring your family and explore New Jersey's rich cultural resources. Batstow Village, founded in 1766, was a bog iron and glass making industrial center. During the American Revolution, the ironworks became an important supplier of wartime necessities for the Continental Army, manufacturing everything from munitions to camp kettles. A century later, industrialist Joseph Wharton bought it for farming, revamping the village with 33 historic structures, including a grist mill, sawmill, general store, workers' homes, post office, and the mansion. Batsto is one of four post offices in America that does not have a zip code. The first is Philadelphia Benjamin Franklin's post office, Williamsburg, Virginia, the town where Abraham Lincoln was born, and Batsto. I think when you look at the architectural marvels, the mansion is one. There's a huge tower in front of the mansion. And within that tower is a 1,200-gallon water tank. And Joseph Wharton figured out a way in order to pump water into this tower so that the mansion actually had running water in the 1880s. Which is amazing. It's remarkable. Remarkable and now a nationally recognized historic place within Wharton State Forest, which is part of the 1.2 million acres of Pinelands National Reserve, which remains pristine thanks to congressional protection. It's protected, and I think probably the most important feature about what I find and love about my job is that we get to share that with the public, especially the young people and the students. Students and visitors from around the world begin their tour here at the Visitor Center with educational exhibits on the rare creatures, biosphere, and the 17 trillion gallon aquifer that naturally creates some of the purest water in the world. It's a unique place on Earth, and um, you know, so that is indicating that there's something special here in the sense of, uh, and in this case, we have rare plants, rare animals, we have rare ecosystems, and, and, and plant and animal habitats that, you know, are found in this area. What's not found here? Reliable cell phone service, forcing families to put away their technology and experience what makes this land so unique. When you don't have the service, you have to sit down and engage with each other and with other people and really enjoy nature. And as one little girl said, if you listen real carefully, you can actually hear the whispers of the people who lived here before us in the leaves. And you can even sign up to take blacksmithing classes as part of the interpretive program for adults. Reporting from Wharton State Forest, Dawn Sands Lamenti. Up next, Larry's commentary.